Mr. Secretary and Mr. Secretary, thank you for being here today. Uh, Secretary Mayorkas, uh, since President Biden has been president and since you have been secretary, how many members of Hamas have come into our country across the southern border? Uh, Senator, I'm not aware of a member of Hamas crossing the border. Um, have you stopped a member of Hamas from coming in? Senator, I am not aware of a, a member of Hamas being encountered at our southern border. Have you vetted all of the people who have, all of the 8.6, 8.4 million people who have come into our country illegally? Senator, you and I have spoken about this before. As you know, we screen and vet individuals. Have you, invetted, we, have you vetted all of them? Senator, as you know, we screen and vet individuals whom we encounter. You haven't vetted all our, of them, have you? Senator, as I said, we screen and vet individuals whom we encounter okay. at our border. Right. I want to move on because with respect, Mr. Secretary, to quote a public official in my state, it takes you an hour and a half to watch 60 minutes and you try to filibuster us and use up our time. What is a safe third country policy? Senator, a safe third country policy is a policy that provides as follows, that when an individual is fleeing their country of origin by reason of fear of persecution, uh, and they traverse uh, a, another country that can provide them safety from that fear, then they may not qualify for humanitarian relief in their ultimate country of destination because okay. they Let me stop you because you're watching 60 Minutes again. Um, well, it's Senator a safe third country policy, you can tell me if I misunderstand this, safe third country policy says America um, has joined the UN uh, treaty that says if you're being persecuted politically or for race or for, for religion in your own country, you can seek asylum in the United States. But this is the safe third country part. Uh, you have to seek that asylum in the first safe third country that you enter. Is that basically correct? Of the safe third country policy? Are you asking me, is that a correct yes, assessment? Yes, I am. Yes, but let me, let me also okay. just... Okay, let me ask you this, Mr. <laughs> Secretary. Uh, safe third country policies have been around for over 40 years, haven't they? I don't know. The, 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 they um, started in the 1980s in, 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 of all places, Scandinavia, didn't they? I don't know, Senator. Uh, and the UK has a safe third country policy, doesn't it? Senator, the, the, the UK um, is uh, underway in addressing its immigration challenges. Spain has a safe third country policy, doesn't it? Senator, if you, if you know the answer to the question, I'm not sure why you're posing it to me. Greece has a safe third country policy, doesn't it? I'm, I'm, because I want to know if you know, you don't even know how many people are coming into our country. That is Greece has a safe third country policy, doesn't it? Uh, Senator, I, I disagree with uh, the statement that you... I understand, but does uh, Greece have a safe third country policy? Uh, I do not know if it does. Uh, Canada, the EU, Turkey, Norway, they have, all have safe third country policies, it's don't interesting, they? It's interesting you cite Canada because we negotiated... I negotiated the safe third country yeah, and, agreement. Yeah, and, and, and the first thing that President Biden did, and you did, when you, uh, when, when, you, when you took office was abolish our safe third country policies. Now, in 2023, this is Senator Hoven's chart, um, how many, what percentage of the illegal immigrants who came across the southern border were not from Mexico? Do you know? Uh, Senator, I know that um, third country nationals has been uh, on the increase, the number of encounters. What percentage? I can of certainly, the, I can you certainly. You don't know, do you? I okay. can certainly. It's 71 percent, okay, are not people who are not from Mexico. So if we had a safe third country policy, that means that, that uh, 71 percent of the 8.4 million people that if you have allowed to come into our country illegally, let me be conservative and use 6.6 .6 million because the 8.4 includes gotaways. 71% of the 6.6 .6 million people that you have allowed into our country illegally would not be hurt in any way. 
They could claim asylum from political or religious or racial persecution, but they would have to do it in another country, more than likely Mexico. Is that not the case? Senator, that is an incomplete and inaccurate accounting of the safe third country. And did country. you not say when we last spoke, and I proposed that, you thought it was a bad policy? Senator, uh, let me um, share with you a prerequisite to a third safe third country agreement, and that is... No, uh, that I'm out of, almost out of time, and I'm not going to let you filibuster, Mr. Secretary. Well, well Senator, I, I have to say that 60 I, I, minutes... Well, I'm just not going to let you Senator do it. Senator Kennedy, if he can re respond, well, you're out of time, but I'm, I'd like I'm, to... I'm, it's my time, Madam Chair, and I'm going to use it the your way I want. Your time is expired. Here, here's, here's... Well, you let others go on. Here's what I think, Mr. Secretary. I think you're a smart guy. Now, there are only tw one or two things going on here. Either you're not qualified to manage a Costco food court, or you believe in open borders. Senator and I Ken think it's the Senator latter. Senator Kennedy, your time has expired. Thank you. I would just say the following two things. Number one, you're 0 for 2 on that. You're in inaccurate in both respects, number one. And I'd like the record to reflect that 60 minutes is not 45 minutes, because I can't seem to answer a question without being interrupted. I just wanted to make that comment. Well, if you would answer a question. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. I appreciate the recognition. Thank you, um, thank you for being here to both of you. Um, that's the first time that I've heard a four-second interrupted answer be described as a filibuster. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I think.